Um, I wanted to um, talk about my coming out story today. Um, mostly because I remember after I came out, I watched loads of people's videos on YouTube of like them coming out and like hearing people's stories. I just found it so interesting. The moment I realized I was gay was probably when I was about 10 years old. I was sitting down on the set with my friend and my sister and we were um, watching a movie. I mean, I was just sitting there just being a normal 10 year old that I was, not having a care in the world, not having a problem or anything. And um, suddenly it hit me, what happens if I'm gay? I like started to get really panicky and worried. And it just suddenly, it literally that's how fast it was. It just hit me out of the blue. What happens if, I, what happens if I'm gay? At the time it was more, I was, it was more of an anxiety than it was an actual fact. It was more, I was worried about being gay. And um, I completely panicked. Um, I tried to just sit there for a minute and just see if the anxiety passed. I tried to stay calm, I tried to, I tried to act normal and I couldn't. And then I just said I need to go to the toilet and I ran upstairs. I went in my room and I just started crying my eyes out. I was worried about what people would think of me. I was worried my whole life was gonna change and people would act differently towards me and I wouldn't feel part part of everyone. I would feel different and weird. I stopped crying, pulled myself together. I went downstairs, sat on the set, and I just kind of sat there for a minute thinking of what to do because I literally just couldn't get out of my mind. It was all I was thinking about. In the space of an hour, like, my anxiety had risen so much. I was just suddenly constantly thinking about it all of a sudden. Because I suppose, like, before the age of 10, I'd never really thought about sexuality. I was too young to, like, think about properly who I was attracted to or having girlfriends and stuff like that. I was way too young to think about that. And I think that time was when I properly thought about it. And I think it had it had a lot to do with the stuff I was watching at the time that opened my mind to this. Um, I was watching soap operas like Hollyoaks because I remember my brother like loving it then. And there was a gay storyline in Hollyoaks and there was these two guys who thought they were straight and both had girlfriends but then realised they were like in love with each other. So obviously like subconsciously it had opened up space in my mind where I was like I know what fancy in boys is now. Yeah so I was sitting on the set and I knew this wasn't going to go away without telling someone. I had to tell someone like what I was feeling. I went in the kitchen, I kind of paced around again and my mum was like why are you pacing? And then I just burst out crying on the spot. And my mum was like Jack what's wrong? She, um, and I was like nothing nothing like in tears and I sat down and I was like nothing's wrong she's like obviously something's wrong you need to tell me and um, I was like I'm worried I'm gay but I know I'm not I know I'm not and I kept on repeating that I know I'm not gay I know I'm not gay I know it's just a worry she was just like oh stop panicking like even if you were it wouldn't matter and then I went to sit down on the set and my sister overheard and then I remember her saying to me what do you think you're gay and I was like no I know I'm not gay um, I'm just worried about it I was just like, leave it alone. After that, it was just never spoken about again. I remember the next day at school, I came back on the bus and I just felt depressed and I didn't know why. I didn't know why this worry wasn't going away. The worry kind of went away after a while of being gay and it just kind of grew into me in a way. That sounds weird, but it kind of did and it kind of, I kind of, it kind of turned into me knowing and then me accepting it like inside secretly accepting it myself that I was gay but not telling anyone but over the years it took me time to accept that I was gay and then to say it in my head. I remember being in secondary school and then um, people would always always ask me if I was gay. I just hated football, I hated rugby. I didn't like the stuff the guys liked. I was I was always hanging around with the girls and I'd, I would always say as well, um, well how can I be gay if I always hang around with girls? I wanted to marry a woman and never tell anyone that I was gay. Marry a woman, have a family, and just keep it all a secret. And as college years went on, I knew this was, wasn't gonna happen because I started um, having feelings that I wanted to just date guys. And I wanted to be in a relationship where I didn't have to fake it. I went into my third year of college, and um, right until November, late November, when I was kind of ready to tell people I was gay, and I just wanted that, I, I wanted a relationship with a guy and I wanted to find a guy and I wanted to have what everyone else had. Um, the first person I actually came out to was my best friend Abby. For, I knew she, I wanted to tell her first because if anyone was going to make me feel better about it, it would be her. I started writing this really long paragraph, debated whether to send it and I just click send it and I just like, shut my eyes, I was like, oh my god, I can't believe I just did that. Uh, obviously, she thought it was completely fine. 
Um, she was so proud of me and it was such a relief because I could talk to someone about it. Coming out to my brother, he was actually gay as well, but the family didn't know that he was gay. He told everyone in London that he was gay, but he didn't tell any of his family. A couple of years ago, I found out he was gay and he, he didn't know that I found out that he was gay. And then I texted him, I was like, yeah, um, I'm gay, da da da. And um, I was kind of waiting for his response to see if he would come out then to me. And he did it, and I was like, <laughs> you're gonna come out to me because I'm like, I know already, just tell me. And I was like, okay, fine. And he was like, he was completely, obviously like, goes about saying he was completely amazing about it. Um, the next day, he texted me, he was like, Jack, I need to speak to you. And then I knew exactly, as soon as he said that, I knew exactly what he was gonna say. I knew he was gonna come out to me. Yeah, so we both, it kind of got to the point where we were both like, oh shit, we need to tell mum. <laughs> How are we gonna tell mum? I mean, me and my brother grew up like in the, same type of things that were classed as girly things to like. We were kind of similar in that aspect, so yeah. I kind of always knew he was gay, he kind of always knew I was gay. Um, when I came out to my mum, um, I remember I told a lot of people by then, and I just knew I had to tell her before, if just in case like she found out some way through Facebook, or someone um, said a comment and she heard about it, and I didn't, I didn't want her to hear about it through someone else. Um, I, w I wanted to tell her face to face. Yeah, so I was sitting on the settee and I was just like, do you know what, I've just got to do this, I've got to get out of the way and just do it. Yeah, I just, I kind of kept going to say it and then I just stopped myself and then kept going to say it. I was just, I remember One Direction being on the TV for some reason, I remember their music video playing and um, I just kept on about to say it and then stopped myself and then I kind of looked over and I was like, mum, and she was like, yeah. And I've got to tell you something. And then she was like, um, Oh God, what? Uh, yeah, my mum was completely fine about me being gay. I mean, I'd want like I'd wanted to tell her so much stuff, but I just couldn't because I like hadn't properly come out yet. So it was so good to finally like speak to her and then speak to my brothers. And yeah, well, I remember when I was seventeen and I thought I was completely fine and um, it wasn't. It didn't matter that it was a secret and I could keep it a secret for the rest of my life, but. When I came out, it was I just felt so much better and I felt more, it sounds really corny, but I felt more me and I felt like I could actually be real and talk about guys instead of girls. I, I was put on a fake persona like my whole life and I just kind of, I kind of got used to it. So to take that fake persona off and to say that I actually um, fancied a guy, it just felt so much better and so much more real than I ever thought it would and I felt more real and it's so it's such a it's such a good feeling yeah so I've been out a year and I think three months now yeah so yeah uh, thanks for watching and have a good day